What's up everybody? So it's Kay here and we're bringing you guys something different today. So this is long overdue. I actually tried to get this video out eight days ago, but there was like some complications with work schedules and like there was an EA event. Um, but yes, yeah, so we are finally bringing you guys the questions and answers that you guys have been waiting for. So once again, thank you to everybody that left questions. Um, we got like a thousand questions. That's insane. Because I remember the first q and I did, I got maybe like 20 questions, the second maybe 50, the next 100, and then out of nowhere we're doing Q&As with a thousand questions, which is phenomenal. So thank you to all of you guys that left your questions. So what we did is we put together eh, roughly 20 questions, maybe a little bit less or more, um, that I thought you know was a good balance of you know lighthearted questions and then more serious questions. And also I want to say thank you to all of you guys, um, you know, because Never did I actually think, like if you were to tell me five years ago I'd be staring at a camera answering questions that is by definition part of my job, I, I would never think that'd happen, you know, so I'm actually pretty under the weather right now. Hey, the show must go on. Let's just start the dang thing, right? The first question we have is by Ghetto Dog. He asked, hot dog or hamburgers? I don't know if you guys have seen hot dogs being made, but it's pretty nasty. I'm pretty sure what a hot dog is it's like all the leftover meats just thrown together and then grind it up into like a freaking tube thing. I gotta go with hamburgers, plus hamburgers just taste better. And while we go through these, I also want you guys to comment if you agree with me or disagree, and why, of course. Um, so next question, Kool-Aid Man, Superman or Batman? You know what the great thing is about Spider-Man? It's the underdog story. Superman can fly, there's that. Don't forget he has superhuman strength, he's super fast, to go back in time, ice breath, and heat vision, and x-ray vision, and of course, he's immortal. That doesn't seem fun to me. Batman's willing to get nitty and gritty while Superman is just like, oh my god, I'm Superman, I'm super. J Clear's mate asks, what do you do outside of YouTube? Well, that depends. I mean, depends on your con what you mean by it. Like, if you mean occupation, I am blessed because of you guys to have YouTube as my full-time job, so I really just make videos for a living. Ah, I don't really do much. I just work out a lot right now. That's pretty much all I do. I just work out and hang out with my friends. When you put it like that, it makes it sound like I don't have a life. I mean, I kind of don't. But really what it is, I'm just really trying to point these hours now so later in the future I can go travel or go like back to Hawaii or Korea or something, you know? Say I wake up at 10 a.m. on Saturday, I finish my work at maybe 10 p.m. Saturday. Like, I work a lot. You gotta put in the work now so then you can enjoy those times in the future. Next question. Oh, this is a good one. It's Moo asks, what inspired you to do YouTube? I guess it'd be Niga Higa. I just loved his skits. I loved you know, how he thought outside the box, and I loved how he was weird. DB12 asks, oh, what? what's your favorite flavor of rice? Really? I mean, that's, that's not even funny. I don't take offense, but I don't think people realize whenever you try to make racist jokes, you just make yourself look stupid. Chaz85 asks, what's your max bench press? This actually gets asked a lot, even though I answer it a lot. Um, 335 before I broke my back and tore my shoulder snowboarding. Now I'm confident I could get 260 up pretty easily. 255, uh, yeah, but I'm trying to get it all back. Aerith Balderas, or Balderas asks, um, what is the most pain you've been through? What a freaking question. Probably tearing my shoulder and separating it snowboarding. What happened was I was snowboarding, and this is actually like early on my YouTube career. I remember using one hand on the mouse to edit, but anyways, that's besides the point. I was going down a slope, at like 40 miles per hour, and if you guys don't know, I've been snowboarding and skiing my entire life. My board catches an edge, and I just slam right on my shoulder. And I had two muscles tear, and my clavicle, the bone right here, popped out of place because the muscles weren't holding it down. But it's like the next morning, I could really feel my shoulder was not connected properly. After I tore it and separated it, I literally couldn't move it. It was pretty painful. What is my favorite cartoon? Uh, or what cartoons do you like? Nowadays, I don't watch much. I grew up watching Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Dragon Ball Z, as did a lot of kids, you know, from my generation. Um, a lot of people say Rick and Morty's a good show, I may give that a shot, but yo, Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon and DBZ were my show. I haven't watched Dragon Ball Super yet, but I'm probably gonna give that a watch also. Oh God, this one's an interesting one, wow. What do you do if you're in love with a girl, she sees you as a friend, but she doesn't know you love her? 
just say something. Don't waste your time, man. If you tell her you like her, she'll either say, I like you too. If she doesn't like you, then who cares? Like, cause there's plenty of girls out and you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea as the saying goes. So in a nutshell, express how you feel to her. If she doesn't like you too, then screw her. You know, uh, just move on. This is an interesting one. CDs asks, would you rather live off of sweet food or sour food your entire life? I just feel like, sh I just feel like sugary foods would get so boring. I don't know. And then sour is always like, ooh, I don't know. I, I have no idea what that means, but I I'd say sour. What's your favorite food? I don't know. If I don't think anyone has a favorite food. Because if you eat a lot of pizza, you'll get tired of pizza. So what would I be doing if I wasn't doing YouTube as a job? Probably a personal trainer, but only probably because that's what I'm capable of doing. You know, so it's not like if I want to say, I want to be a doctor, that means I have to get a PhD. Saul Bayless asked, did I ever think I'd make it to where I am today in YouTube? That's a hard one. I mean, yes and no, you know, it's not one or the other. Like in our first few weeks of YouTube, I literally was already visualizing having like a Lambo. Not like I'm anywhere close to that right now, but this, I can't speak for other YouTubers, but this is just me. I get really caught up in just the motions. Whenever I do have that time, it's pretty crazy when you actually stop and think about it, that you made it where you are. Even if you believe, there's always gonna be that level of surrealism, you know? Triple Percy asks, how was your time living in the woods for 10 weeks? It, it was hell, it really was. Especially the first three weeks. Um, my first day I was there, I was in shock. I still didn't believe it. But it gets to a point, I think for me, it was roughly around week three is you learn to embrace it. You learn you can't get out of it. So you kind of just have to take it day by day. And then you find a level of peace. Jalen Roberson asked a pretty good question. He asked, will I ever release merchandise? Um, I'm working on it. There, there, you know, there's been some things going on behind the scenes, but you know, I can't say anything officially yet because, you know, but the big thing is I've never had a logo. So, that's the key. This whole, I've been working on a logo for a very long time, so I need the logo first before to make a shirt, you know, but hopefully merchandise is coming pretty soon. Joey Cornelius asks, was I adopted? Well, you're a new sub, so new sub alert. So shout out to Joey C uh, Cornelius for being a new sub. Yes, I'm adopted. Which brings to the next question by Xavier Gayet, or Gayetti? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, by the way. He asked, no disrespect, but a question I'm wondering is if, why didn't you ever um, use a website to figure out who your biological parents are. Honestly, I've thought about it. I've come somewhat close to it, but then I, I always remind myself that not knowing who my parents are kind of limits me as a person, you know? Um, because without biological parents, I have no one to compare myself to. Like they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But my thing is, I don't even have a freaking tree to compare myself to. For all you subs, I'm sure who are adopted as well also can, you know, empathize with that feeling. Um, or understand it at least. Aiden Laura asks, wait, this is the last question? Oh wow, could have thought of a much better last question. <laughs> he asks, what should I say to my gym crush? She's very cute. If you're at the gym, don't say anything. Yeah, guys, but um, anyways, that's all of the questions. But yeah, guys, what I want you to do is go in the comment section, comment other um, questions you may want to see in the future. I really want you guys to leave some awesome vlog ideas in the comment section as well. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. And this Q&A is over, man. Peace.